Hello everybody, it's Nerdboy Weaves here. I am back with a new reaction. We are about to react to something that I probably should have, I would have reacted today had I not preoccupied myself with other stuff. But it's something I've actually kind of thought of who would do this. And we're getting it from Grayson. Um, well, this isn't the first DC Cypher, excuse me, uh, that we reacted to him because of the Titan Cypher, but uh, we're, we finally got a Batman... I mean, Bat Family Cipher. Bat Family Cipher, Bat Corp, is, by, is from Grace's channel featuring Diggs, uh, Diggs Prophecy, uh, Fred Shara, Geno 5, The Wolf, and more. Uh, this is, if you guys don't know, there's, there is a good amount of people in the Bat Family. Not just Batman, not just Robin, because there's like four different Robins, canically. Not counting the fifth one, because she didn't have it long term. But yeah. Enough all talking, enough uh, enough of all the game playing. Let's get dangerous. And you know that's Strider Yasuke. Wow. Okay. Orderly, right? I wonder who's got blue. Hey! I get okay. I call all of, that's actually. I'm glad uh, he decided to, to, to do that. Drew Thomas is underrated. I thought he, he was gonna be dick. I honestly thought he was gonna be dick because <laughs> you see his brand, like he's usually Nightwing, but Drew Thomas, yeah, you got a good thing. He said. Bla new black superhero, don't call me Miles, because Miles Morales, black Hispanic superhero. Duke Thomas, black young black family member of the Bat family, aka the Signal. And fun fact, he's the only meta human out of them, because uh, he has the power to con uh, control shadows, among other things. Um, I When he was talking about the Fowls, it made me think of the Court of Owls, because Dick actually has connection to the Court of Owls. Yeah, black and yellow, like I'm Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, I have to do this boy wonder. I'm so... Okay, now we're getting dick. <laughs> But also, Duke was temp was in this uh, Robin uh, comic, and there was a group of Robins. He was one of them. He had his really whack helmet. <laughs> the suit was, everything else was cool, but the helmet was just bad. But, uh, yeah, like, I kind they kind of have been trying to do the whole Black Robin thing, because I think in the last season of Titans, they have uh, Tim Drake, who they made black in the show. <laughs> um Fun fact, Ryan Potter, who plays Beast Boy, wanted to play, actually, uh, Tim Drake's Robin. Because you got to remember, he's played brainy characters for it, a.k.a. Hiro Hamada from Big Hero 6. But uh, going back to uh, Duke as Robin, yeah, that didn't really last long. So we mainly know him as Signal. And also, he's not the only black family member of the Bat family. Uh, Luke Fox, a.k.a. Batwing, and his father, who's Lucius Fox, who, if you've seen the Dark Knight movies, you know has been played by Morgan Freeman. That's his dad, and his. They in Future State they gave Luke a brother named Jace. He's the Black Batman of Future State. I'm outstanding. Parents with the landing, but I'm still standing. I'm the eldest brother. Black and blue is the color. So I leave foes. I'm the hero of Bloodhaven. Made as a star, we on fire. I desire to be the strongest Titan. No matter who we fighting, it's on sight with this god tonight. Oh, okay. That was that was a short thing, but um. Yeah, like, again, it, it was kind of basic to kind of understand that. Because there's really not that much to dive into that. Uh, um, with Dick Grayson, yeah, he's the oldest Robin. He's the first one, mind you. He's the oldest Robin because he's the first one. And I I, I think he has the most healthiest uh, uh, dad-son relationship with Bruce. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, uh, yeah, like... Dick resides in Bloodhaven as Nightwing. Um, and yeah, he wears black and blue. Because, like, Dick wears black and blue. Like, and Ryan Grayson's 
uh, acrobat, he makes acrobat martial arts, got the escrow sticks. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Like, yeah, that, that was also easy to understand because uh, ba that this bad girl is Barbara Gordon. Because if they're going to put Stephanie Brown and Cassandra Kane on here, because they're probably on here since it's a Bat Family cipher, uh, they're all those two are also Bat Girl. But the thing is, Barbara Gordon is the OG Bat Girl. Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, of course I have it though. But freaking, I had, I kind of knew it was coming up. I just uh, that's why I went like that because uh, you know the killing joke and you know what the comedian Joker did. The Barbara with the blicky, her legs. Yeah. That's why she has the other name. Granted, Lex Luthor fixed this, but I'm the only one. I'm not the, I think I'm the one of the few people who does not like Barbara when she's Oracle. I like her when she's on the front lines. I had I, an idea in my head. If I were to write a Oracle comic, and pro, I even have a design idea of what, how I would have her as Oracle, but how I would do it my way. I am the founder. They talking slick, saying I have no powers. I am just rich with battle prowess, but I never miss. I bat a thousand, saving the town. Okay, that's he said. I bat a thousand because I battle a thousands. Because yeah, brute. A lot of the Bat family, except for literally Duke. Literally, most of them are human. Some of them are slightly superhuman because specifically like Jason Todd, because he's trained with League Assassins, trained with Batman, and he was resurrected by the Lazarus Pit after the Joker murdered him. So he's kind of got a semi supernatural edge, but fun fact: Talia actually taught him a punch, this one punch move that can actually kill Ra's al Ghul. Once I get the signal, yeah. chasing these clowns, they going mental. Yeah. Joker, play around, get one in your temple, yeah. catch a beat down. Now you in temple. I am the one when ten was done. Who run the ones with everyone? That's girl Robin. Repping it heavily, surely but steadily. Many tried to handle me, but fed to see now I'm part of the family. I came through when the bat was clueless. My dad was a master, till I showed them where the clue is. Before Flash had the door and say, screw this, got a new suit. Like who this? They call me that girl. Me that, that was Stephanie Brown, if y'all didn't know. Uh, the whole Masters bar is um, her father's uh, a villain known as Sport Ma Sports Master. Um, I don't know if it's the same thing in the comics because I think because I think or because I think in Young Justice, uh, is, I think Sports Master is actually uh, Artemis's dad, but I think in the comics, uh, Sports Master is actually Stephanie's dad. Um, yeah, it, I can't unpack that, but yeah, she's got daddy issues, uh, like, <laughs> oh, and also I, I think he was her in the Batgirl part cause I think she wanted to kind of go in the, oh, spoiler. Cause that's the thing. Stephanie's main moniker as a vigilante in the Bat family is spoiler. Also, she's also known for being with Tim Drake at, in couples. Until Urban Legends happened, because they made Tim Drake buy, and he has a boyfriend named Bernard now. I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, <laughs> um, but going back to uh, Stephanie, yeah, Stephanie uh, was Tim Riley Robin, but she wasn't considered that really good of one. The one female Robin that's considered probably the best, because there's like three female Robins. There's Stephanie Brown, then the one that I'm talking about, if you've seen The Dark Knight Returns, you know what I'm talking about, Carrie Kelly. Who they, I know they haven't got the Knights, but they've always been there, and I don't know if they're going to show her in a Robin suit. Then the other one is from Earth 2, and this character has been the main focus of uh, uh, the show Birds of Prey, which lasted one season, which they kind of revisited in uh, Christ's on Infinite Earths uh, crossover, which is that, uh, I think it was a Batwoman episode, which, fun fact, also had Kevin Conroy, a.k.a. the best voice of Batman, period, God rest his soul, um... Yeah, <laughs> um, like 
the, the fem third female I'm talking about is Helena Wayne, the daughter of Batman and Catwoman. So, yeah. And yes, uh, Stephanie was also Batgirl. Diggs, you you awesome for that. Diggs, I mean, Diggs got his favorite Batman and my favorite Batman too. I I contemplate myself if this one or Dick Grayson is my favorite Batman because Dick has been Batman. But no, Terry McGinnis is my favorite Batman. Batman Beyond was awesome. And if any of you OGs hate on Batman Beyond, shame on you. Man, t like, Terry McGinnis all the way. And fun fact, his voice actor, Wilfred Deere, played Deadpool in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. And was Ron stoppable from freaking Kim Possible. And, oh my god, this movie, Return of the Joker, is one of the best Bruce Tim movies ever. And that scene where he's fighting Joker is one of the best. Because Terry McGinnis was running and he's running black. Okay, uh, there's a lot of, because here's the thing, even though he has a biological father, Bruce is also, technically, he's also his biological father, aside from the one he already has, because Waller decided to do this thing called the Batman Beyond Project, had Bruce's DNA inserted of Terry when he was, a, right after he was born, thus making him technically Bruce's son. His biological father that uh, is, was his mom's husband, he's deceased now, but Bruce is technically also his dad. Not just his mentor, but his dad. And blessed with the steps and reluctant to climb. Because he was a punk. He was a punk who, like, legit... He dude was trying to live his life, trying to just get through life. But the thing is, come across Bruce, his life changed for the better. Made him more responsible. Made him more active. And made him, like, get a more clear moral conscience. Steps were reluctant to climb. I was golden from birth. Now I'm stuck in my prime. Fuck it, I grind and it's getting hard. I just played the cards and got the ten of hearts. Got an ace on my side and that's all I'm drawn. That's... I'm unpacking these. I'm unpacking these digs. Ten of hearts because ten from the, uh... Uh... Spades gang. Oh, I said the name right. They're basically a family of criminals that are themed like, uh... Like, uh... Uh, the cards, uh, poker cards, and all that, like uh, ace, queen hearts, and all that, and yeah, ten was Melanie, aka a uh, love interest who was basically Terry's Catwoman, his Selena Kyle, and to me was way better than Dana. I'm saying that right now, Dana and him had too many problems. Granted, he they got over them, but Melanie had, gave very little drama on Terry, and she was such a better fit for him, in my personal opinion. And Ace, because Ace, the bat hound, aka good bad dog. <laughs> Quick little bitch, don't fuck with my dog. Bow. That's. I do. Do I even need to explain that? If you've seen the John Wick movies, you you know. Bow. I'm the master of the beat and the master of the blade. Like showing y'all love like a name of Slade. I'm oh. the you all on my past your game. Woo. Brand new rubber fly above the fame, and I'm here to slay. That's what I do. Bro, fuck a red hood. I'm talking to you. Why didn't I see that coming? And yes, this is Bruce and Talia's biological son, Damian Wayne himself. Yes, unlike all the other sons of Bruce and children of Bruce, this little spawn, well, I can't call him little spawn now because he got better in the comics and these anime movies made him likable. Oh, let me, um, chase it. Okay, um, uh, let me, uh, I'm checking my phone real quick, but yeah, like they, the uh, comics with uh, Clark's son, John and him teaming up and the movies that eventually led him to, and Raven coming a thing made him a lot better. But Damien is Bruce's biological son. No, the reason why he didn't get, know about his son being alive is because Talia lied to that, that the baby died. And you want to know, 
how come they're not to, to, to how come Talia and Bruce aren't together uh, at Raisin Child? One, Talia is a terrible person, and two, she drugged Bruce and had raised Damien in secret. That's why this little former turd is a is good at killing. God, just a number two, and it's not just me. I'm with my crew. Okay, that's kind of also. I think this is both throwing shots because like. Here's the thing, Jason Todd's the second Robin, but I think, I think also that's going maybe because, oh wait, put it with a bag out, because I think that's also a reference to the Super Sun movie that came out, because he has a bat cow, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, like, Jason Todd's the second Robin, and maybe, I think he's referring to, the, showing that Damien, Ar this person is showing the Damien arrogance, um, Showing like, like you're all number twos to me. I am the better of you guys. When Damien's gotten clapped by a lot of them, Dick and Jason, yeah, that have clowned him. Oh, it's taught to a god. Oh, see what I mean. Oh, okay. Dick Grayson is not a disgrace, son. Like, if you, especially in Justice, like, no. You dishonored him, even though it was by accident. Let's not forget the fact that in Justice, you're the reason he... You were technically the reason he died. But Tatu Tatu got wow. Um also I, I'm not I I I pulled up the metal but not with the blow because um Damien is the only Robin, but he's not the only Bat family member, because Cassie also has a that wheels a katana. Like legit Damien is a, a lot of them wield both staffs as Robin, but no, Damien got the blade. He is with the blade. That is the weapon he trained with as an assassin. That is the weapon of choice he fights with as a vigilante. Like, he, okay, yeah, I shouldn't uh, be surprised at that because literally Damien be like one to square up with all th three of them. Because here's the thing. Damien and... Someone said best when it comes to him and Damien Bruce. It seems like there's always a demeasuring contest with them. But the thing is... Him going, going on Tim Drake here. Him and Tim be at each other's throats. Because here's the thing. In Batman Wayne Family Avengers, they're talking about how each of these members of the Bat Family of his, Bruce's kids came there. Like, and he showed envy that that it felt like Tim didn't have to go through any like tragedy to become Robin. He chose that life, whereas Damien is kind of like burdened with being literally the his mother's a highly trained killer of a highly dangerous organization. His grandfather is the same way, but is, has the title literally the, the demon, and he's also the son of the greatest detective in Gotham City, and. It's dark in the dark night himself. So, yeah. Oh, fun fact in Kingdom Come, um, Damien and Nightwings and Corey's, uh, aka Nightwing Starfire's daughter, Mari Grace, and Kingdom Come uh, get married uh, in the future. Next up versus the Slow row. Wait, is this, is this Azrael? She's on here. I am so glad Selena's on here. 
Because really, at this point, I was watching this from Multiverse, and he said he does believe in the future that in the comics, they're going to have Bruce and Selina finally settle down. They need to do that. Because you got Clark and Lois settled down. Give these two. Uh, 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 that could be played in two different ways. Uh, pull up, pull, um, because uh, Selena's actually bisexual. Uh, but yeah, Bruce Sermans, uh And yeah, like she's more anti-hero nowadays, if anything. And honestly, she is m m like a good mother. She actually has moments in the Wayne family comics, even the regular comics, where she's like a actual mom and like dominating. Come on, that latex, that latex wig, as Nina Hope would say. Mm. That's fine. <laughs> and uh, I, this is, I know these clips are from the Long Halloween, which Naya Rivera's uh, Catwoman got rest her soul to. Jensen Echo, aka Soldier Boy from The Boys, and Ian Winchester from Supernatural is Batman in this movie. One thing to see, I'll scoop a shit that I snatched. When I pop up on the scene, I had no seen a soup in the night, all black. And it is true, I do fuck on the back. As I hear it when known as the cat. Yo, sound like she's no cat. Sexiest bitch in the family of bats. Pussy look, pussy, they can't overlook me. I be kidding with that vice. I heard that meow. No one's ever gonna hurt me. Bruce and the gang will be fighting. I make all my moves and I'm out again. Think I'm side of uh, oh, oh, my boy, uh, <laughs> my boy Jason here. But yeah, uh, that person I think before Selena, I think that was Azriel. Um, yeah, that makes sense, especially White Knight. When they we find out his connection to the Bat Family in the Batman White Knight comics, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like Selena also. Here's the thing. Felicia from Spider-Man comics is Spider-Man's Black Cat, but Selena is well better written, and Marvel needs to get with the program. I'm just saying. Yeah, good. Got two guns up, it's the red hood. Who want what in a confrontation? Gun in your mouth, no conversation. Oh. Stop with the burner, no with some murder. Whenever they give that mask to Jason, uh, if you were... Okay, he was pulling bars about Jason dying, uh, becoming the Red Hood, got an hero like, saying, uh... Uh, gun to conversation, uh, putting him out there ain't no conversation. I probably messed the bar up, but you get what I mean. Basically, no, like, you, if you in opposition, I'm coming to kill you. Like, Jason is with the smoke and also masked up like Jason because Friday the 13th bars. Jason worries. That shit is pitiful. I put a hole in the criminal. Hey, highly formidable. If we get physical, leave your face down in the swimming pool. Hey, come so far since that crowbar. Don't take it hard. Oh. Uh, people, if you don't know your Red Hood and you don't understand the crowbar, you really need to learn. You guys really need to learn. Because that's the thing that Joe are freaking being able to freaking end his life with. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Dang, I just got really emotional just now. <laughs> uh, Christ, I was about to say something. Um, when I thought of swimming, I thought, I thought of Lazarus Pit because that's the thing that res res did Jason. But uh, yeah, like the whole uh, Joker assassination. Uh, like Jason, Jason don't believe in Bruce's kill no killing rule, even though he does occasionally play his role if, he if he's in Gotham. This man literally became a crime lord because he understood. Bruce can't stop crying. Jason's just controlling it. And the thing is, this man was on the streets when he was a child, so. Killing rule, that shit is pitiful. I put a hole in the criminal, ayy. Hey, highly formidable. If we get physical, leave your face down in the swimming pool, ayy. Hey, come so far since that crowbar, don't take it hard. If you see me, then pray to God. Best Robin, Jason Todd. He's one of them. Like in the wind. I'm shining the dark with a shit in your grip. Getting sick of my hey, son. I caught the spoiler bar because again, spoiler Stephanie Brown, and also I am Mass Batman without uh, I am Mass Batman without, without little effort or no without little effort. Uh, and I disengrace in the Prince of Bloody. Okay, okay. Uh, it's kind of funny because Tim looks him. Dig as a mentor uh, 
out of the Robins, which makes sense because Dick's the big brother of the uh, Robins for crying out loud. Uh, but going back to that unmasking Batman one, I don't know if I said this before, uh, but or I've thought about this, but Dick, I mean not Dick, Tim literally found out how Bruce was on his own. And that actually impressed Bruce. Like, and things, Bruce was hesitant taking Tim as a Robin out of Webb and Jason. But uh, hopefully the, a character um, uh, who made her animated appearance in both Young Justice and uh, got Batman Doom. There's a scene in the comics where she touches Jason's fist, Dick's chest, and Tim's head. And that and someone interpreted this is all Robin sensations of Bruce Wayne as Batman. Dick is his heart because he's got the heart of the father. Jason is uh, uh, Bruce's like physical, me, 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 yeah, like his physical strength. And Tim uh, is his intellect because Tim is like the closest thing to a legit detective out of the Robins. Oh. Hey. Told you. I told you. Like, okay, yeah, and he comes. Yes, Red Robins. Yum. <laughs> I had to do it. But no, seriously, uh, T Tim is literally Red Robin when he becomes older as Robin. But um, I think because he, due to the fact he is a detective, he also kind of probably is probably the second tech was next to Dick out of the Robins. So and I think I hear Frivolous talking. So I'm guessing she may be Kate Kane. And also, yes, Tim gets disrespected a lot. Called it. about to do my girl Cassie dirty and not have her on here please don't tell me please don't tell me we're about to do my girl Cassie dirty That's actually a three play. Alice, uh, Alice Bob, and, uh, and then with the Wonderland, and, and then when the woman, uh, not the Wonder Man, uh, when the woman, uh, then the Wonder Man, if, if you know, uh, Wonderland, Wonder Man, because, uh, this is Kate Kane, mind you, uh, which is, this is basically the lesbian cousin of Bruce Wayne. Uh, who was actually discharged from the military because she was a lesbian, which I still think is stupid. And a lot of people don't know that in the Golden Age comics, Kate Kane was written as Cabbie Kane and was supposed to be a forced love interest of Batman. So they could dissuade rumors that Rob and Batman were gay, which after Golden Age in it and they read back this character, I always giggle about this because the fact that this so backfired on DC is hilarious. It is hilarious, but the whole going back to Alice Bar is Kate has a twin sister who uh, goes by the alias of Alice. Uh, basically, Alice is her Joker. Her sister is her Joker. Uh, I think Kate's um, sister is named Mary. Um, or that might be your stepsister. I'm going, I'm, I'm trying to remember the CW Batwoman. I, I saw watching after they uh, got rid of Ruby Rose because... I came for Kate Kane. I didn't. I don't stop with CW originals and DCs. Some of them are okay, like Sarah. But I didn't come for Kate Kane. 
I mean, I, I didn't come from Ryan Wilder. I came from KK, and I know some people think, do you hate her because she's black? No. I just am a Kate Kane lover. Um, and Wonder Man is also... Uh, there, this is actually two different ways. One, this is actually could be referring to Wonder Man, which is a alternate universe version of Arx and Diana's son. For some reason, I think of also the Marvel character that Yaya Abdul Madin is about to play in the MCU. I still think it should have been Blue Marvel, but oh well. That's taking a Batman suit. Mm. Man, y'all did Why do you have to do my girl Cassie dirty? L let me see who played who uh, that I missed. Uh, fudge. I am so... I am so... I'm actually... I'm mad. <laughs> well, not mad. I'm upset. <laughs> Cass is my one of my favorite members of Bad Family. You had the nerve to freaking not include her. What the freak? Okay, here's who's in order: Signal, Grayson, Nightwing, Lord, uh, Zig, uh, Bad Girl, the Wolf. Um, I can't say that was Cass because literally she was making bar Barbara Gordon bars. Gentle Five was Batman. Okay, Swag Switcha uh, was spoiler. Batman Beyond was Diggs. Uh, Damien was. Uh, Zenadine, who was, I, I remember, he was on the uh, Titan Cypher as Beast Boy. Knew, I knew it, uh, Azriel, uh, uh, Azra, Azriel, um, a.k.a. Swalrel, Catwoman, Create Lady. Wait, was, wasn't that girl on the freaking Smash Cypher as uh, Korn? Um, Red Hood, o, Osiris Green 609, Rare Roman 10 Drinks, Kim 3 Mix. And K came Batwoman, Frivolous Shara. Uh, yeah. I'm still gonna give it a light. And because it's still a good cipher. I'm just I'm mad. I'm I am really not I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I have I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm in my feelings about it. And I'm and then also Kaz has really really been in my mind lately because I just read some new DC comics. Uh Lazarus Dark uh Fate. Which uh, introduces a new character called Xanth, or otherwise known as the Envoy. Them and um, Cass team up against these like, like zombie type creatures, and the ending kind of causes Cass to go into this place called the Spirit World. And now Constantine and Xanth have to find Cass. And I just read Spirit World issue one is really good, and I'm very curious how this because they have Cass's Batgirl and slash like Bat Bat in that Black Bat in that. So I don't know. I'm just I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm saying I'm kind of salty right now. Grayson is a great cipher, but I said, I'm salty right now because <laughs> of y'all then putting Cass in there. Ugh. It's still a great cipher. All right, y'all. If you like my video, please, um, please subscribe, share. I will link the original if you want to see the original cipher without, you know, me, uh, my, you know, commentary. But this, we're in my domain here, so kind of expect the commentary. So, not sorry. All right. Bye.